Hey guys, Martin here again. I hope you're not getting tired of seeing me because you're going to see a lot more of me. Today we're going to go over two thinning techniques using my favorite tool, the razor. Let's start off with four sections and we're going to break it down into horizontal partings starting at the nape. So let's hop to it. We're going to take, in this particular case, we're going to take a, about an inch section for parting. Section that out of the way. Here. Horizontal partings. About an inch thick. It's important for this technique that you have the section nice and wet. <clears throat> I also like using a little leave-in conditioner. It helps the razor glide a little bit easier. Here we have our razor again. Of course, no guard. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold the section out about maybe 15 to 30 degrees. And we want to make sure that it's nice and tight. And then we're going to hold the razor maybe at about between a 30 and 45 degree angle. And we're just going to do longer, broader strokes. Very, very, very light. Notice my index is not on the razor. When the index is on the razor, you will apply way too much pressure. And this is thinning out the section without compromising the length. Okay, so let's grab that again. Next parting. Nice and tight, razor at about 30, 45 degrees, a couple of broad strokes to thin it out. Now in this exercise, we're gonna go and we're gonna thin uniformly. That means that we're gonna try to thin out the same amount in each section, but in real life scenario, that will depend based on the hair density and the coarseness of the hair. Okay, let's keep on moving up the head. Horizontal parting. About an inch wide or inch thick. Again, we're going to hold that parting out about 15, 30 degrees projection. Razor between 30 and 45 degrees, very lightly very lightly, long, broad strokes, just to thin out. Again. Now a couple of tips. I always try to refrain from cutting anything or thinning any area that's around my perimeter. Okay, that also takes place in the front or around the ears. This way if she decides to wear her hair back in the summertime. She doesn't have, or at the gym, she doesn't have to worry about little hairs popping out. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Okay, now let's see it from this perspective. Horizontal parting. And we're going to make mental note not to thin out here, okay? You can either omit it right from the start or just make sure that you don't thin out in that area. Hair nice and tight. If you ever see any rimples in the hair like that, definitely recomb and redistribute that section. You want it to be nice and smooth. Razor at about 30 to 45 degrees, very light touch. Very light touch, okay? And the amount that you thin out is dependent on the coarseness of the hair and the density of the hair. Now proceed that way throughout the entire head. Okay, so let me show you one more technique for thinning out the hair. This is one of my favorite ones. We're gonna again take horizontal about one inch partings. Okay. 
This time though, we're going to hold the razor a little bit different. We're going to grab our parting, open up our razor, and now I'm going to hold the razor a little bit more like a pencil. Okay? I'm going to come in here using the point of the razor. Pick and choose the areas that I want to thin out. This technique is really beneficial for someone that's got wavy hair and you don't want to break the curl pattern. Again, grab your section, nice and tight. Hold the razor almost like a pencil. And using the tip of the razor blade, create some space. Okay? Again, it's especially useful for someone that's got some sort of curl pattern or curl formation already in their hair. It is not totally recommended for very tight, tight curl, but some sort of curl formation. This way you protect the integrity of that curl. Try that out.